Okay, this is problem 10 point in, um, oh, yeah, in 10.2, yes. So with this one, you have to set up your own story problem. So you'll just have to read it. It says an investor has a hundred grand to invest um, and it's gonna invest in three types of bonds, short term, intermediate term, and long term. How much should she invest in each type to satisfy the given conditions? So it says short term bonds pay 4% annually. Intermediate term bonds pay 5%. Long term bonds pay 6%. The investor wishes to realize a total income of 5.1% with equal amounts invested in short and intermediate terms. Okay, so we really should have a couple, really, since I see three things, short term, long term, and intermediate, there's gonna be three variables. Now, first of all, um, what we have to invest, the first equation is pretty easy to set up. X we'll call short term. Uh, y we'll call intermediate and Z we'll call long term XYZ and that amount will add up to be a hundred grand We're gonna split up that hundred grand amongst those three things. All right now We have to come up with a money true statement. So you have to be careful here um, Because your next true statement will come from Well the money. So how much money do we want? Well, we want 5.1 percent of this amount of money so what you're going to do is you're going to take hey wesley hold on i've got to get a calculator going so um so from here i would type in 0.04x uh yep for short term plus 0.05y oops i put two o's plus 0.06z, that's going to equal 5.1% of 100 grand. So um, I would need to get my calculator and do that real quick. I don't can't push pause on this video, that's what sucks. So then that would be that amount right here. Setting this one's up is the hardest for people. So then because there's an X, Y, and Z, you need a third true statement. So guys, how you would do this is you would do 100,000 times by 0 0.051, that would be the amount you put here for the money. Oops, wrong way. All right, so then from there, our third true statement is, you gotta have three true statements if you have an X, Y, Z. So our third true statement, it says equal, they want equal in short term and intermediate. So that'd be X equals Y, there's your third true statement. So hopefully from there, you would be able to do elimination and solve that one.